Hi guys, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas Day. From me and Rem, I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're all able to get some enjoyment out of Christmas Day. I'm making this video for you as a gift to you for all the support that you've given me and others on this channel in this community throughout the year. I know we have a lot of veterans on the channel who have so much advice to offer, who've been through so much, who have, I don't know how, have survived through dreadful situations that you've posted about and you've emailed me about. And you can still joke and see the humour in life. You're motoring on with your lives. You're achieving things. Despite the most horrendous abuse and a demon trying to take you down and stop you from developing and being who you are today. So a tribute to, I call everyone here soldiers. I know some channels say warriors, whatever term you want to use. The people in this community have battled dreadful situations, have, have come through being gang stalked on occasion, have been smeared, have been cruelly, cruelly discarded, have been cheated on, have had all their assets stolen and worse, have had their children taken away from them. I don't want to go on because it's Christmas Day and it's a time of peace, love, joy and happiness. But I don't want to also forget what everyone has gone through and yet you can still, you still seek to help others. How beautiful is that? You still open your heart to help others. You still move forward with your own life and your own purpose. A subscriber sent me an email and this is a long term subscriber and a great supporter also. And he said, and you know who you are, but I don't want to mention your, your name just to to maintain your privacy in case you don't want me to talk about this. And this person said he walked along the beach on his own on Christmas Day and felt in the depths of despair and saw a lot of couples and thought about the narcissist having a good time with the new supply, drinking wine and having sex and having a wonderful meal and just having a great time while he was there walking along the beach on his own. It's a really, really hard time it's a hard day if it's your first Christmas without the narcissist. But what I'll say to you is a few different things that I hope will help. If you remember back to your Christmases with the narcissist. If you were in the love bombing stage, fine, you might have had a relatively good Christmas. But I will nearly guarantee you that something will have happened on that Christmas day to take some of that pleasure away because a narcissist cannot go a full day like that without drawing some drama or attention to themselves. Fine if they have set the Christmas day up and they've set everything up and it goes the way they want it to go and you're happy because of because of what they've done. But if they see you being happy because somebody else has given you a gift 
or your happiness is caused by anything other than caused by them, they will have taken some affront to it. I remember I, I spent two Christmases with the narcissists and I'll, I'll just share this with you. The first Christmas, my family traditions were not respected. I was severely triangulated with his ex. The day was very emotionally disturbing. And I wasn't at peace that day at all. The second Christmas I spent with the narcissist, I had gotten, I think we do get, we, we get to manage our expectations. The narcissist gets us to manage our expectations down. So we're not expecting as much. We're more, we're more closed. We're more fearful. We're more aware that things can go wrong. We're more on guard. We're more cautious that something we may do may cause the narcissist to cause us issues or ruin the day or cause issues on the day. The second Christmas, that would have been the way I would have been. And we got through the day and it was enjoyable. The narcissist did something inappropriate in company, but it was passed over. But what did happen was, again, his ex um, was, I think, trying to ruin the Christmas, Christmas day. And he did get numerous phone calls from her about some drama that was going on with the children. And he mentioned it to me, but for some reason it didn't bother me. I just continued to enjoy my own Christmas day. I think we get, as I said before, we, we become more closed. We become aware that yes, these things are going to happen and maybe we remove ourselves. Maybe it's the start of the boundary setting and the removing of ourselves from that person. Something inside us, inside us knows that this isn't normal and this isn't right. And you kind of go, here comes the drama. Here comes the drama. And you kind of back, back away from it. Well, that's what happened in my second Christmas. So guys, on the third Christmas, I was not with the narcissist. I had been discarded that summer. And the first Christmas is hard because you do have some good memories, as I said in the last video in relation to hoovering. They have set you up with some good memories. It's not all bad. We wouldn't have stayed if it was all bad. The overriding aspect of the transaction ship with a narcissist is horrendous and the outcome is more than bad. But there will be intermittent good times in this situation that you're in with a narcissist to keep you around. The intermittent push and pull. So guys, what I'll say to you in relation to finding it difficult on your first Christmas, think back to the drama. Because if you were with a narcissist, I can nearly 99.9% .9 guarantee that, that your Christmases will have had drama in them. Realise in whatever state of grieving you may be in or whatever state of emotional recovery or healing journey. That even if you're without the narcissist and this is your first Christmas, you have the ability to have a peaceful day without drama. You can also choose to have the day the way you want the day to be. And the main thing I'll say to you is if you're walking along a beach on your own and you're looking at other couples, you have no idea what those couples are going through. You've no idea if one of them is a narcissist or two of them are narcissists. You have a huge community of people who believe in love, 
who believe in the goodness of humanity, who may also be spending Christmas on their own individually on that day, not in a couple, but all of us together are like one. We all believe in beautiful, wonderful, joyous love, trying to help others, living a good lives, believing in humanity, believing in things that matter. You're part of that. We are all part of each other. I don't want anyone to feel alone out there because they're not part of a couple after narcissistic abuse on Christmas Day. You and you and you over there and you sitting in your sitting room and you outside on a walk listening to the video. All of you are my friends. All of you are part of us. You're not alone. We are together. We've come together because of what we've been through, but we've come together to create something much more special. We've come to create who we are and put that out into the world against the evil that we've encountered. We are an army of people. None of you are one person separate on your own. And you will meet someone that deserves you and that you deserve. If that's what you want. And you've been through this experience for a reason. I promise you that. Sometimes we have to go through things and time has to pass before we realise why we went through them. So don't fight against what you've been through because there's always a reason and it will be revealed to you in time. Just have faith. Have faith that you're on the right road, that you're not alone. We're all part of each other. Just remember that. I won't be in a couple this Christmas, but I know you guys are out there and I don't feel alone because of that. And the last thing I'll say to you is, if you're ruminating on the narcissist being with the new supply, if the new supply is sitting drinking wine with the narcissist and laughing and looking at an exterior handsome face, an exterior beauty, prettiness, a picture. Behind that skin is a darkness that no one should have the unfortunate look to be coupled with. There is nothing there for you. There's nothing there for the new supply. This person is made up of a mask. A mask to which they've added parts of other people. They've seen someone acting in a certain way in a certain situation and they've copied that person and they're doing exactly the same. And then they've seen another person doing something that they liked and that they saw got good reaction to. Or they look the same as a person that they thought looked good and they've copied what they do to themselves. They're a mishmash of a load of different people that can crumble away and change and become something else once they see someone, something else or someone else doing something. They're changing all the time. They don't exist as one person. The true self is never going to come out. And if the true self did come out, and we have seen the true self from time to time, when the mask slips, it's not someone anyone would want to be with. This is a member of Satan's army. And you are thinking of the new supply having a good time with this deadly dark creature that they don't know they're sitting beside. They don't know they're sleeping beside. And you didn't know it either, and I didn't know it. This person again will destroy the relationship that they're in at the moment. And they'll take this poor person that they're with down. 
Unless they're a narcissist and then they'll try and eat each other up before they spit each other out and go along to try and find another meal of choice and another empathic meal of choice. Their karma is not good. They will be trying to come back to you at some stage if you're an empath. You now have the time to build on yourself before that happens so that you're strong enough when they do come back to not want them, to have worked on yourself, to have cared for yourself, to have improved yourself. So this Christmas, if you're walking alone on the beach and it's your first Christmas, remember you're loved. Remember you're part of us. We're all part of each other. Remember, we have a movement going on here that you can contribute to in loads of different ways. A minimal contri con contribute to the movement is to subscribe to the narcissist anti-narcissistic abuse channels, to like, to share subs and subscribe. That's a minimum you can do. Leave your comment, try and help others. Um, work on your life purpose. For this new year, improve yourself in some way, whether it's your mind, your looks, um, your job, your contribution to your family, whatever you, whatever stirs your soul and your heart, become yourself, become much more of yourself by improving yourself. And I promise you, if the narcissist then comes along and wants you back, you would never go back to that crazy Alice in Wonderland existence. And guys, if you want to know why you can never have and no one can have a relationship with a narcissist, there is a video I did way, way back in relation to the narcissist being a functional lunatic. So that can also give some comfort in knowing that no matter how much you might miss someone this Christmas or think fondly in some ways about the narcissist, that you're having a relationship with a void, with someone who doesn't actually exist the person they presented to you doesn't exist. That's only a falsity so that they can get on in life and get supply and, and all that kind of stuff. There's a snarling, angry, dark force behind that exterior. That may be an attractive exterior, but that's changing all the time to different situations and different people. And that's not what you get after the love bomb. Once the devaluation starts, you get this monster coming out more and more and more and you really see who's actually there. And it's very frightening. So, guys, that's my Christmas Day gift to you. I hope it helps. We all have to to go through the pain to get through to the other side. There's no avoiding it. But getting the knowledge can speed your journey up, your healing journey up by two or three times. And it's really, really important that people know what, what they've dealt with because the narcissists do, they do a job on your mind and it can take years and years and years to unravel that. And some people never actually do if they don't know what they've been through. They keep blaming themselves. They, they take on everything that the narcissist put in their head and they get screwed up by it. Some people commit suicide. Some people never recover. Some people become so bitter. Some people blame them, blame themselves and destroy themselves with drugs or alcohol or eating or whatever it is that they do because they feel so bad about themselves. So please, guys, share the videos, share your knowledge and help others. Have a very, very happy Christmas, a very blessed, contented time and make your plans for the new year and look forward to improving yourself and finding your purpose again and to a great life. Please God for everyone. Thanks guys. Have a lovely Christmas night. Bye.